John eats cheap after Thanksgiving. Oh, what do you do with the leftovers? We're gonna make some soup and we're gonna eat some on sandwiches. We also have some leftover turkey and we had a lot of leftover stuffing. This is only part of it. And I thought maybe I make like a crab cake. It'll be like a turkey cake with the stuffing or the dressing and turkey. So that's what I'm gonna try, never done it. So we're going through this together. My stuffing, I'm gonna moisten it up a little with some chicken broth. Don't want to go too much, but just to make it a little more pliable, easier to mix. Who's stuffing? This is uh, Mrs. Cheap's stuffing. <laughs> I Oyster. Make, I make like two things. Yeah. Well, you did. You made nice banana cream pie. Yes. That was terrific. Yeah, you're right. I may have to just get in there with my hands on this, but I'm going to get some turkey in there. This is kind of diced up. Combination of white meat and dark meat. And I'm thinking if this works like I hope it will, I'll be able to freeze it. Make them into the, you know, the, like just like a crab cake, size of like a burger patty, and be able to freeze them. And then just pull them out anytime we want. Just kind of throw them in some butter in the frying pan. And good. have them anytime. I know it does, it smells really good. That would be the stuffing. You don't have to worry about mashing stuff up too much, because that's fine. I'm gonna need a little more broth. I think I'll just go ahead and dump it all in there. And I can always make a little bit more. Might as well dump all the turkey in there too, right? Just keep going until it's all mixed up. So that's, I think, about the consistency we want. Seems like it'll hold together real well. I was thinking maybe add an egg, but I don't think you need to. So I'm just gonna form my turkey, uh, what do we call it, cake? <laughs> Thanksgiving cake. Do it just like, a, like it's a burger. I hope it holds together when we cook. That will be the challenge. And it's technically dressing because it didn't get stuffed in the bird. Okay. All right. I'll give you that. So I'm just, you know what? I just want to, I want to try it, make sure it's going to work. So I'm just going to fry this first one. All right. Get the butter melted. So we'll go in. And I was thinking, you know, this would be good with, if you had leftover corn, we had corn casserole or scallop corn, didn't have any leftover. Uh, mix that in here. You could probably put some mashed potatoes in there too. Stretch it out, keeping it cheap. It's starting to smell good, so I'm just gonna get a little salt on there, a little bit of pepper. I love salt and pepper when they get a little crust on them, which hopefully we will be able to get, and it will stay together when I flip it. It's golden like a crab cake. All right, I'm thinking she's done. Yeah, Thanksgiving turkey stuffing cake. And I heated up a little bit of gravy. So we'll drizzle that over the top. If you were into like the sweet and savory, you could put cranberry sauce on there. I imagine you could. That's not your thing, you know. Not my thing. And Mrs. Cheap and I were talking, I think these, if this is the right recipe, well, regardless, once we get it to work, Make the patties about this size and freeze them. Put them on some, you know, a cookie sheet on wax paper in the freezer for a couple hours. Let them get individually frozen, then seal them up with the vacuum seal. Okay. Ooh, even when I cut it, it holds together pretty well. I better not take too big a bite. I'm getting in trouble. <laughs> it smells fantastic. It smells like Thanksgiving. It's kind of weird because I'm almost expecting a crab cake taste. Yeah, that's very good. I mean, that's a little mini Thanksgiving, you know, stuff mixed together right there. And a unique way to make them. I gotta make one of these for Mrs. Cheap. Thanks for watching. Follow us. Uh, let us know uh, how you, you like to use your leftovers. Any suggestions, comments, thumbs up, like, share. 
And uh, thanks for watching Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. John Eats Cheap.